and that always makes me smack my forehead is motherfuckers smelling like straight bum. Motherfuckers on the train, on the fucking bus, like in public smelling like straight dookie balls. Right? You guys don't understand how unacceptable that is. You guys have no idea how unacceptable and haram that is. YouTube man, what's going on with y'all gang? What's popping with it? Welcome back to another video, man. And today I'm here to talk about the three things every man must be doing daily. Right, guys, today I'm actually gonna give you the game. You know what I'm saying? So pull out a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, whatever you need to do, right? And get ready, man, because I need you guys to write these things down, right? Because what I want you to do is this. On one side of the paper, I want you to write the three things I'm going to give you. And on the other side, I want you to, to, at the end of the video, right? I want you to try to think of some things that's going to stop you from doing these things, right? Because I really want y'all to take this seriously and write this down and try, really try to implement these things in your life so you can see true results, right? Because if you just sit here and watch me, watch me all day, right? And unless you apply the tips and excuse me, apply the game that I'm giving you, you're not gonna see any results, right? So have a piece of paper and a pen, and let's get started, man. Subscribe to the channel, and holla at your boy on Instagram, at IamWensley.boss, link is in the description, all that, man. And like the video, subscribe, and let's get, all, let's get into it. All right, number one, right? The first thing every man must be doing daily, right? If not twice a day, is showering. Right, you guys have to be showering at least once a day. I cannot believe I have to say this, bruh. I cannot believe I have to say this. Right? See, as a human being, I go out, I do things, right? But one thing that always kills my mood and that always makes me smack my forehead is motherfuckers smelling like straight bum. Motherfuckers on the train, on the fucking bus, like in public smelling like straight dookie balls. Right? You guys don't understand how unacceptable that is. You guys have no idea how unacceptable and haram that is. Right? You guys have to be taking care of yourselves. You guys must be taking care of yourself, bro. There is absolutely no excuse whatsoever for you to be smelling like straight bum. They're only like one dollar, two dollars, bro. There is no excuse. The order rent is literally one to two dollars. Or you know what? You don't even fucking need the order. Just take a fucking shower. A fucking shower. Right? If you're oh, well, mighty boy, the, the water in my house is not running. I don't have running water. I can't afford running water. I right? go take a fucking shower in the gym. Right? Oh, I was just working out. It's why I smell bad. Right? I was in the gym. I was sweating. I was smelling bad. The gym had a fucking shower in it. Shower, motherfucker. You have to shower. And y'all go approach women. Y'all go up approaching women smelling like straight bum and you're wondering why the woman is rejecting. You're wondering why the woman is not trying to get anything happen with you. Right? Because you're embarrassing her. Right? She feels bad. Now she's having a bad day because a bum like you just approached her now. You see what I'm saying? Right? You guys have to shower. You guys must take care of yourself. I can't believe I have to tell dudes to shower in 2023. Right? It's unbelievable. I was, I was in the gym the other day and this dude spent like straight bum. I, I nearly puked. I had to move. I had to go do it, use a different machine because I just couldn't do it, bruh. I could not do it. I don't understand y'all, man. Come on, bruh. Alright? The next thing, the second thing every man must be doing daily that you need to write on your list, right? But every man must be challenging his inner self-confidence slash inner insecurities every single day. At least once a day. Right? A lot of guys, man, you guys are not confident because you don't challenge it. Right? You guys are not confident because you don't challenge it. Because here's what everybody thinks. Everybody thinks that, okay, before I approach this girl, before I just do this thing, right? Let me get confidence first. Let me get my confidence up first and then I will do these things. But my G, you end up never doing the thing because you never get your confidence because you don't know that you're going to get your confidence by forcing yourself to do that thing. That's what you don't understand. It's, that's basically like saying, oh, I will go to the gym right when I build muscles. That, that makes no fucking sense, right? It's, I will go to the gym so I can build the muscles. So that I can keep going. You can't build muscles without going to the gym. 
That doesn't make any fucking sense now, does it? Right? Just like how you can't gain confidence without doing yourself that, that doing the thing that's really challenging, the re without doing the thing that's taking a lot out of you to do. You see what I'm saying? Right? You have to challenge your confidence. You have to. Confidence is like this thing where you have to maintain it. It's like a physique. If you keep working out, working out, your physique's only gonna keep getting better. You're only gonna keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger, right? But when you start working out, you start losing your muscle mass. You start getting uh, fat or even skinny in some cases, right? You start to lose that muscle mass. You start to lose that great physique that you have when you stop working out. Well, it's the same thing with confidence, right? You work so hard, you challenge yourself every day, you gain confidence, right? But then when you stop, Challenging your confidence, you stop doing things that takes things a lot out of you that makes you confident, then you start to lose the confidence. You get what I'm saying? You guys must continue to challenge your confidence. Confidence is something that you do, it's something that you have to decide that you're gonna do and just do it. Okay? Moving on, right? Next thing every man should be doing on every single day is at least one thing that brings you 1% closer to your main goal, okay? Every man must be doing at least one thing every single day that is gonna bring them 1% closer to their main goal. What do I mean by this, right? At least one hour. So for example, my goal is to help y'all become the best version of yourself and help y'all become better with women, okay? That's my goal. So what do I do? I either record a video every day or edit a video or make uh, thumbnails for a video. Something. I do something every single day to contribute to this YouTube channel that I have for y'all. I do something every single day. That's at least one thing. Obviously, I do a whole lot more than that. But the point is I'm trying to make is that I do at least one thing every day to get closer to the main goal, right? Your goal is to, is to go to the NBA. Your goal is to go to the league. What are you gonna do every single day to make sure that happens in the next five to 10 years? What are you gonna do? Right? Sit around and fucking rub on your balls and eat Cheetos? Or you're gonna get up and, and then dribble a ball every hour. You're gonna go shoot some hoops for an hour. You're gonna shoot free throws for an hour. You're gonna run up and down the court practicing your handles for a whole ass hour or fucking all day if you want it that fucking bad. Right? You have to be doing at least something that's gonna bring you 1% closer by the end of the day. You have to. Because 1% is the, is the most you're gonna get. You're only gonna get 1% every day. So you may as well make, make the most of it. You may as well get the most that you can get out of that 1%. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of guys wanna want accomplish things in life. A lot of guys wanna make this happen, make that happen, but they wake up up to nothing. They wake up to do nothing. They wake up to fucking play video games, smoke weed, do drugs and and, and go chase women that don't even fucking like them, right? Imagine, imagine this, God gave you a life, a life, a meaningful life it, it's supposed to be, right? A life that you're supposed to be uh, doing the work, impacting the world in some sort of way, right? And you mean to tell me that you're gonna sit here all day and waste it, do drugs, chase women that don't even like you and accomplish nothing? That's what, the, like, like, how are you gonna offend God like this? I don't understand how you're just gonna sit back and offend God and feel okay about this. I don't understand that. Right? It doesn't make any sense. You guys have to be better. You guys have to be better. You guys have to want more. You guys genuinely deep down inside have to have that burning desire in you to wanna be better or else you're not gonna be better. You have to have that burning desire in you to want to bring up your confidence. You have to have that burning desire in you to want to bring up your self-esteem and try these things and try this and that and get better at this and that. You have to. There's just no way around it. Right? So you guys must be doing something every single day that's going to bring you closer to your goal. All right? Last but not least. The next thing that every guy need to do to improve your life every single day 
is to make sure you are following me. Make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. Because the thing is though, I make videos like this every day to teach you how to get better with women and how to uh, win in daily life overall. How to, I make some shorts, I have an Instagram account, uh, link in the description at mightyboy underscore. Right, it's about fitness. I, I post motivation videos, you know, uh, tips on what exercises you could do, how to make your gym life better, all these things that's gonna help you improving your life. So, subs clicking that subscribe button is another thing that you could be doing that's gonna improve your life, right? And I'm not even saying this, like, like I know this sounds kind of funny, right? When I wrote this down on this list, I wasn't thinking about, oh, I need you to su subscribe to me. Oh, I need you. No, that's not the point. The point is videos like this, and I hope you're writing down all these tips, right? Watching the videos like this, consuming content like this is what's gonna help you to really get better in the long run. Because you don't have, if women are gonna tell you these things. Right? Women are gonna tell you these things, guys. Women are gonna tell you to stop waking up being fucking lazy. Right? Women are gonna tell you to challenge your inner self confidence. They're not gonna teach you how to do any of these things. Right? Fuck it. Don't subscribe to me. I don't care. Don't subscribe to me. Go subscribe to somebody else that does a similar thing. Right? Fuck it. Don't subscribe to me. You don't have to subscribe to me. I don't care. Right? But make sure you're following somebody that's teaching you how to get from point A to point B every single day. Okay? That's it, you don't need to subscribe to me, you don't need to follow me, I don't give a shit, right? But you need to like the video though, you need to like the video, all right? So with all that being said, man, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it, man. These are the things that every man must be doing every single day, right? Every single day if they wanna get better, if they wanna make their life better, improve their life and improve the situation. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching, holla at y'all later, man. Peace.